everyone. It's Diane at the Pick and Fence Greenhouse and Gardens. Today I'm just going to give you a little tour of what's going on in the greenhouse and just kind of show you around a little bit. It's very early, but the plants are really small, but I wanted to kind of just give you a little tour today. Uh, tomorrow and within the, this week, we'll be getting about 1,500 more plugs. Plus, I'm bringing some plants out to transplant from the house to out here. So, going to be keeping pretty busy. And I'm going to just kind of show you, I got my plastic curtain up here today and this will stay up for maybe a day or two and then we're going to have to open up the whole greenhouse. This just kind of helps keep our costs down a little bit so we don't have to heat the whole thing. All right, you can see our wall, plastic wall there. That is to keep it warmer in this section. Um, we, this is about half the building right here. Our heaters are up there and this makes it so I don't have to heat the whole building right away. As you can see, we got a lots and lots and lots of little plants. And they're doing pretty good. It's always hard when you transplant them the first week or so for them to adjust. They always, I always lose a few. It's just kind of normal. You know, I have to be, I have to watch my watering very, very carefully um, until we warm up and at the nights get warmer. So. As you can see, I only have a few uh, pots left. We'll have to pot some more up for next week. All these ferns here were ones I uh, kept over from last year. And I brought them out here today and I potted them up so they get going real nice. They look pretty good. Uh, they were left in my patio. I've done a few baskets up. I have a ton more baskets to do. Back here is mostly my where I place my flats things that I have to transplant and some stuff that I transplanted that needs a little more shade. Okay, there's my potting station. You ever see one of these old bathtubs? <laughs> Works pretty good for potting right there. And we pot here on our bench. There's the beautiful, beautiful new, the new uh, jade plant succulent that I'll have available this year. I'm really excited about that. I've done a lot of pots up already. You know, if I do them now, they're going to be so gorgeous by the time I open. So I've done a lot of those up already. And I'll just go we'll walk down here. Not very organized yet because a lot of this stuff is all going to be moved um, over to the other side. So I got a lot of grasses, pretty coleus. Um, everything that can handle the sun I have up here in front. I actually have some blossoms on a couple things already. But I'll probably pull them off. There's one right there. Probably pull them off because they need to spend time, you know, getting their plant, getting the roots going. I have baskets along here, and I have a lot more baskets to do, but I'm kind of waiting for next week, and I'll be potting them up. These are my little baby plants, little plug plants. Everything's doing okay. I've had a few casualties, but that's pretty normal. Uh, I've got my little sticky tags. These are for the insects. The insects I don't want in here. Uh, them things work really great for getting the bugs. Uh, little Gerber daisies, little guys right here. I got red and yellow this year. Those are going to be wonderful. But as you can see, give you a different view. Hi, Rox. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> but this is just what we got so far. Next week we got about uh, 400 plus 800 plus 150 plants coming. So be a lot more plants coming and I'm also taking them outside or from inside to outside I'm doing some transplanting that way but there's a lot lot going on so March 14th uh, 2011 and this is the time when plants are coming transplanting's going on and just a lot of stuff as you can see I have the plugs all the little plants are really small yet uh, we got some lobelias calipricoas um, right here is the uh, party time plant that it's just a foliage plant a lot of people like it I love it I love to put it in the shade and we've got a lot of grasses uh, dragon wing begonias if you've never seen them this small they're very tiny right now but boy they were gonna take off once we get warm I potted up a bunch of succulents the last couple days things that I had in my house and some look a little tough, but I cut them back is why. But they are going to come around real nice. As we walk down here, I got some little dahlias I started from seed. 
right there is a black beauty dahlia got the goldfish plant that I did made from cuttings and what else can I show you I mean I got so much stuff here a lot of zonal geraniums very little yet but by the time Mother's Day comes they're gonna be huge and <laughs> they're gonna be really nice so um, other than that you know we're just got I got my baskets got a lot more baskets to do I'm kind of waiting to open up the rest of the greenhouse my fans are going and really nice today I love when the Sun shines because it really cuts down on cost and it just makes the plants really start taking off but as we get this organized and you see my pots way over there there ain't very many I had a lot more than that but we have to pot we have to do some more pots but we'll do that here as we go but I'll kind of show you the progress as we go and just to let you know how this all works um, right now it's just trying to keep things happy um, when we're warm during the day and the nights are still cold we have to be really very very careful when we water so that is something I have to when I water during the day I do not drench things I, I'm very careful watering just enough to get them by through the day so you know oh I got to show you my little uh, perennials here the comb flowers uh, we got the powwow white and the powwow wild berry gonna be very cool got some galardia these I started from C2. As you can see, they got a long ways to go, but they're going to get there. So I'm excited. You guys take care, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Got any comments, questions, you know, let me know. And things are small now, but wait till they start blooming. And I, if I get time, I'll sure show you. So take care, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.